Good morning everybody. How are you today? I'll, I'll quickly scroll through everybody's good morning. Good morning Melanie from a rainy and Eaton. Good morning Jilly, rainy Morpeth. Hi Jean. Oh bless you. Thank you very much. Morning Sandra. Morning Sally. Damp Gloucestershire. Oh, morning Anita. East Midlands. Hello. Carolyn from Newant. Morning Connie. Hi Elizabeth from Liverpool. Welcome along. Hi Mandy from Reading. Wet. Oh, Hi Kate from Lincolnshire. Hi Valerie. Hi Samantha. From Northwich. Oh, how lovely to have you all with me. Do you know what? The weather's actually not so bad here. Morning Christine. So far, touch wood. Um, it's been slight drizzle. It's just a grey day today. But nothing too atrocious. Now, I am on my own in the shop, so if I do have customers or phone calls, I'm afraid I will have to nip down and um, do my shop bit, my Arkwright bit, as well as my teachery bit. But I hope you're doing well, and I hope you have a good start. I hope this is a good start to your weekend. Let me get some bird song on for you, because I know you all enjoy how relaxing that is. So we're doing gouache today. So this is standard traditional gouache not acrylic gouache or anything like that this is the proper stuff um and i will give you a, a bit of an insight about um what all of that means good morning trish um it's it's interesting i love gouache and it's what i do all of my pet portraits in and uh, i have run a couple of classes in it over the years um it's not new. As I say, it's ancient. Well, the white is ancient. A Payne's grey day, Christine. Yes, absolutely. Um, bit of Davies grey out there as well. Morning, Elizabeth. Um, so the white used to be called body colour. And in fact, Queen Elizabeth I's portrait painter, Sir Nicholas Hilliard, used to use body colour with watercolours. Um, so if he wanted an opaque watercolour, he would make make it opaque with body colour, white gouache. And then poster paint is very gouache tempera paint is very gouache um, So you've got all of those things. And then later on, you know, in the last century, I suppose it is now, isn't it? Because we're in the 21st century, in the 20th century, in the, in the 50s designers gouache came um and it wasn't just body color it was all of the colors that you can get now um we can get a really wide variety of things um of gouache there is now more student-based beginnery gouache sets uh they're all on our online shop well some are on our online shop but we've got far more inside uh the shop as well hello alessandra oh wonderful well, I bet I will. I bet I will get you loving gouache as well. I'm sure of it. Now, the paper I'm using is grey paint-on paper. Um, the pad is about £10. Um, I was going to use um, a green one, but we've we've sold out of the green one. But the, the pad, you get um, 30 sheets for £9.10. Hello. I'm glad you're not put off. Um, and... Uh, it, basically this is the, the paint on paper is mixed media paper uh, and Claire Fontaine do a multi-coloured pack which we're out of stock of temporarily for the next week or two um, they do it in grey on its own white on its own white textured on its own black on its own denim which is like a blue grey verdigris which is a green grey and grey and a natural uh, parchment coloured um, surface uh, so they do all sorts. So I'm using the grey today. It's mixed media, so you can use it for all sorts of things. And I have got a customer in the shop, so I'm going to have to quickly nip down. I do apologise. I've had nobody in all morning. I really will be as quick as I can, so don't rush. And if anybody queries where I am, somebody in the comments, just say, will you? Thanks ever so much.
I've returned. Good morning, Janet. Right, I'm back. Hello. So gouache is, um, I suppose you can call it an in-between watercolour and acrylic because I'm going to start squeezing it out. I've drawn my toadstools out. You don't need a huge amount of it, but right, lots of things to talk to you about gouache. And um, I think I think the feed is weather related. I can't, unfortunately, I don't control the internet, nor do I control the weather. Um, so there's absolutely nothing I can do um, about that. Um, I'm not getting any issues here. Um, I my feed seems to be um, accurate from the broadcasting software that I'm giving. So. There's nothing I can do. It's set that if there is a blip, then you just need to be patient and um, it will come back. The only time it won't is if I've got a huge disconnection. And um, then I've lost everything. That would only be if the, if the internet goes off altogether. So I'll talk to you about the colours that I've got on here. I've got permanent white black cadmium red crimson ultramarine cadmium yellow you could throw in some burnt sienna or um yellow ochre if you wanted to uh just just to make it more exciting um or easier depending on how good your color mixing is so gouache is opaque but water-based it's opaque but water-based so that means that you can put light colors on top of dark colors which you can't do in watercolor so in that sense it's more like acrylic but like watercolor if you wet an area of paint even when it's dry you can re-wet it and restart it and reconstitute it so if you've used gouache and you um have a tile of gouache then you can reconstitute it and start again so if I if I did this lesson and then I go away for a couple of days I won't throw the paint off my tile I'll just drop a little bit of water on the paint and um, wait a minute or two for it to reawaken the pigment so don't throw your gouache away that's the best advice I can give you. So you can spread it like watercolour. The, the thing to remember is it's a heavier paint because it's got chalk in it and that's what makes it dry matte and flat. So watercolour dries 30% lighter, as we know, um, and it's transparent. Gouache does not dry lighter. It dries flatter and more matte. So that's why designers use it because you can cover really large areas without much colour shift or change. It, like with watercolours you'd create a wash but you can create a wash in gouache and I'm going to sort of do this as well um, for the background. So those are the colours I'll be mixing up and I'll show you how to mix browns and what have you. I'm going to have to quickly nip downstairs again because I have customers. Honestly, I've been open for hours this morning and it seems like they're all attracted. As soon as I press a live button, then they'll arrive. I will be back as soon as I can and we will paint, I promise.
I'm back. I'm back. It was the same customers. You're right, Elizabeth. It is really good. Um, no, not particularly for the toadstools. I, I use it for my pet portraits all the time um, because I can build up depth and tone so I can put highlights on the top because obviously in watercolours, you have to start with your lightest colours first and then grad I'm out of breath now. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. So you start with your lightest colours first and get darker. With gouache, that doesn't have to happen. You can put white on top of black or yellow on top of blue um, and they're opaque. Now, the better quality tubes, so the, I'm using Winter & Newton's designer gouache. They are more expensive and there's a different series. So I think they start at £6 and goes up about £14. And it tells you the series. But on the back, if I zoom in on this, if I can, can you see that square? Now that square, hello Diana. Good morning Janice, don't worry I haven't started yet. I've just been waffling because I've been serving. Um, that half black square indicates that it's semi-opaque. Whereas on this cadmium red, the full black square indicates that it's fully opaque. Um, let's show you the other colours. Ultramarine, full black square, fully opaque. Black, fully opaque. Permanent white, fully opaque. Ooh, oh, all over place. And cadmium yellow, fully opaque. So, you do have... Um, you can use acrylics. You're fine with acrylics, Katya. It, it's just that you've got the option with um, with the gouache to re-wet it. So you'll just have to work a little bit quicker, but you can do it in the same order. I'm going to keep the grey, <clears throat> but I'm going to do a bit of a vignette. So I've got a little flat brush here, and I'm going to make a bit of green and very runny. A very runny green. Now, ultramarine and cadmium yellow give me a nice more autumnal green or sludgy green and I'm going to put that on very fluid you can see it's very inky here we go around the um, toadstools I do love fly garrick toadstools those of you that know me know how much I um well that's fine a lot of people don't know much about painting. That's why they come to the classes. I get students all the time say, I'd love to come to your classes, but I don't know anything about it. Well, I can't do art. Well, that's why you come to classes, isn't it? If you could do it before you came to a class, then you wouldn't need to come to a class. Unless you're there for the company, the biscuits and the chat. Which none of my students would do. So, yeah, acrylics and... Um, Acrylics can be used for this lesson. So I'm just adding on the colour. I'm Because this is card, I don't want to go too wet because I'll end up... Well, I'll end up going through. It doesn't, Elizabeth. It doesn't dry 30% lighter. You'll see this. It's, it's, it's a really weird thing. And no matter how many years I've been working in gouache... I still can never remember what it will be because it will depend how much water you add. It can dry darker. The, the nearest I can give you as an example is emulsion wall paint. You know when you put the colour on your walls and you don't really know what it will do and then it dries slightly darker and a little bit more matte. So it's a bit like that really. So I'm just adding it on and I'm wanting to fade it up and out a little bit. So we'll make it a little bit scratchy. I'm twisting my brush. I'm rolling it like that Look between my finger and thumb. I know some people find that a bit tricky, but I find it so good to give me nice randomy stuff. And I dance the brush around the page. Da -da 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 -da, like that. You can see how runny my paint is. It's, it is like ink. 
But as unusual, I, we, we love having um, repeat customers, but I've never had a repeat customer within the first 10 minutes. So they come in and then come back, which is nice. It's, it's tricky to try and be all things to everybody um, and do classes and serve, but it, uh, it, it it's good for the step count running up and down those stairs in the shop. So I'm not worried too much about the background and as it dries, I'll get the hairdryer on this so you can see. Oh, I'll just throw um, rosemary. I was, I, I, oh, at the start of your post then, your comment, I was getting ready to attack you. But um, after that, my natural charm and beauty. I couldn't say it better myself. <laughs> Well, the cafe does. Um, it depends on the class, Diana. Morning, Jill. Um, so if if the um, during the daytime classes, uh, the coffee run is is uh, from the cafe, and they're one pound fifty or one pound a cup for students um, for a hot chocolate or a coffee or a tea, and they often will put a little bit of biscuit or flapjack on everybody's drink. Um, and in the evening classes, um, they're not they're not back yet. But in the evening classes, I do um, provide biscuits with your tea and coffee, and I make your tea and coffee as well. It's me that makes them in the evenings or on a Sunday. You get the whole lot here. Teachers' pet, yes, rosemary, absolutely. Wouldn't have her any other way. So I'm going with a little bit thicker paint and I'm not going to do any more to that background. I want it nice and watercolory. Slightly thicker and blobbier. Morning, Cathy. So yeah, I'm obsessed with gnomes and I'm obsessed with um, fly garrick toadstools. Obviously, don't ever eat one. A bit more yellow in there. Don't ever eat one. But they're nice to look at. My mother, at the flat she lived in, there was always, uh, there was a big silver birch um, in the front garden of the flats. She lived. Yes, all people do bring business. Do you, oh, do you remember we had um, some uh, long-term American students um, at our evening classes and they brought in lots of different American-style biscuits um, for us to try. Cookies, sorry, cookies, wasn't it? Which was lovely. You know, I have to say, we are so, so fortunate. Hello, Emma, don't worry. I've only just started playing around because I've had, uh, I've actually had customers. And I, and I shouldn't complain for having customers. Because I love them dearly. As much as I love all of you lot, I need you both. So I have to be nice to you all. Which is such a challenge at times. Um... So I've only been waffling about gouache, but you should be able to watch back. I think as the feed stabilised for you all now, mostly. So I'm basically just adding enough moisture on my brush. Oh, that's a bit blue. And I'm not thoroughly mixing any of this through. Oh, yes, don't eat a gnome. I didn't mean eat a gnome. I meant eat, <laughs> eat fly goat totals. But don't eat either, I think, is a good is a good thing to, to go around. I was watching a video where a man made a whistle out of a, an acorn cup um, by putting it underneath his thumbs and blowing. I have an acorn cup, and uh, I did not make a whistle. I'd have been better off just shouting. So I'm adding a bit more water as I'm coming down um, because we want to make a vignette. That's fine, Mandy. Well, I haven't done anything to it, Jilly. I can't. I can't. I can't do anything to it. Um, it's just the way the Facebook gods must be favourable this afternoon, this morning. Um, I'm not sure when it's when we feed back. 
if um, when it, when it's finished recording, um, how it will be. So I'm just adding more water and I'm fading. I will do my little bit of a finger roll down here as well. And it's lovely. It is really lovely. You have no idea how much joy I have knowing that so many of you can be bothered to get up early on a Saturday and give up your shopping. You might be in your slippers. I don't know. But that's all right. Oh, you might not pick it up on the mic. Do you remember on a Saturday we have the man with his guitar singing the whole world gets in his hands? Um, he's just coming past now. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. I do want to go down at some point and hand him some lyrics because I don't think he's aware that there's more than one chorus or verse. But never mind, he tries his hardest and he's happy and that's all that matters. A little bit more yellow and I'm using my flat brush on its edge like that. So not flat, on its thin bit. Maybe I'll add a bit darker. Ooh, look at that. We can just play around with gouache. I love it. To make this feel mossy. A mossy bottom. Is mossy bottom with... Hello, Brian. Um, You've got biscuits, Diana. I've got biscuits too, but I can't eat them and um, eat them and teach at the same time. Because uh, most people struggle with my... Dudley accent as it is, I think if I'd got a biscuit in there, I think uh, people would uh, be extremely confused. Let me just dance the brush. Maybe I ought to call this brush dancing to get that texture. So you can see it's drying in a very different way. Ginger nuts. See, I can't do that either. You know, Julie, my mom had a... Cause she was in the specials. She was a special in the 60s, a special constable. And she could do some amazing things. Uh, if I was ever naughty, I know. Can you imagine me being naughty? Um, she used to do amazing ways of how she would arrest people. But anyway, she could whistle, you know, by putting two fingers in her mouth. But she could actually do every finger, not all of them at the same time. Um... So she could do index fingers, middle fingers, uh, little fingers and thumbs. And she could really whistle loud. It's amazing. Anyway, she was an amazing woman, my mother. We all miss her so much. But there is a bit of her in all of everything that I do. Because um, she was extremely creative and artistic and fun. And um, everything was an adventure to my mum. And um, do you, Brian? <laughs> Me? Naughty. I was rather cheeky as a little ginger child. Um, I was. I was very naughty. Well, cheeky. I wasn't, like, violent or anything. Just cheeky. But I had that thing that all, all boys do when they're a teenager, that they think they know it all. Obviously now I'm an adult, I know I know it all. But, um, yeah, my mother, my, my mother, my, well, both my parents are amazing, extremely supportive of my artistic endeavours. Um, And that's why we set up, when Mum died five years ago, we set up the memorial fund to help other people um, have free art. That's why I do a lot of free stuff. I mean, I am a business, so we do need money. Um, sadly, I can't pay my rent in uh, paintings. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, I'd try if I could. Um, there you go. I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? We've got a bit of a substance there that could be something. Maybe... Maybe a little bit of orange. So I'm not using the paints neat. And I'm not using them absolutely wet. I'm just dipping the tip of my brush in there. Maybe I'll stab this one. You'll see, it'll give you a good opportunity to see how 
the colors change as it dries so it's almost um, while it's drying nondescript I flick up a little bit um, but as it dries that's when it changes thankfully my brother and sister don't join in these um, these lives when I'm doing my singing they do um, and they comment but um, I don't think my family watches me do these lives so I can say all sorts of things and it goes unchecked <gasps> wonderful Um, I forgot to press record during this, so I'm hopeful that um, I can save this afterwards. So this is just cadmium red and cadmium yellow. Um, I can save this afterwards and um, it will end up on our website under the free learning resources and on our YouTube channel a likeable rogue that's an interesting um, thing there are some of you on here that actually know me because uh, you've you've suffered me in in real life classes something like that will do us for now I'm, go I'm not going to use ultramarine and um, yellow ochre I'm going to put that away I've got somebody in the shop, but it looks like they're just browsing for now. So I'll be all right for a little minute, a little minute there. I'll probably move on to these. These are the miniature painting brushes that we sell, and I love them. Um, that This is a little eighth of an inch flat and a zero. And I'll probably do most of it with that um, for the rest of the, the session um i want to put a layer of um creamy colored on there so if i go with white a little bit of yellow actually if i go with a little bit of that orange and a smidge of blue because orange and blue make brown look at that perfect mushroom color and I want to just go on with the stalks first. I am going to do it dilute first. What's wonderful about gouache is I can dilute it, thin it out. So the grey colour comes through. Oh, bless you. We do adore what we see in ourselves. I, I have to say, but I would say this, wouldn't I, Brian? That I am actually the same person. Regard, I was brought up by my mom. We have no airs and graces. I, I have had students that are of gentry. And I have had students that are in poverty. And I treat everybody the same. I, I do not change depending on who I talk to. I am I am proud to say that. Sometimes it's got me into a little bit of trouble because um, I'm, I'm respectful, but I always try to be true to, to myself. As Polonius said in Hamlet, to thine own self be true. And that's something that I am really proud of in myself. And those of you that come to my classes can tell um, because I'm, I, I, I really am. I am who I am. Um, but then obviously, you know, I don't give my whole life out here. I talk a lot, but I do have a private life and I like to keep it that way. It's extremely boring. <laughs> That's why um, if I had anything exciting going on, boy, I'd tell you all straight away. 
Right, is my layer one coming on? So you can see as it's drying, it's um, it's allowing the grey to show through, but it's still opaque. Oh, yeah, it's true, actually, I do. The only thing that I do change is how I sound, because um, just so people can understand what I'm talking about. So if I talk with somebody from the same area, area as me, um, my accent does come back quite strong, doesn't it, Rosemary? Um, but that also has a knock-on effect to anybody else from the area that has the same twang that um, I have, then it all comes back. But I am very proud of my roots. I am extremely proud of my heritage. Um, but sometimes you do have to make exceptions with the language when, when it's a barrier. So you can see that if I wanted to make it more opaque, all I do is just add less water and more paint and I'm going to do that with these now I can't see the underside of that little one there but the um, the gills of the large one are a little bit more blue so if I when I'm feeling blue add a bit more ultramarine I don't want to add too much But yeah, I'm not, we all have our bad days and our bad moments and our bad sides, don't we? So I absolutely get where you're coming from, Brian. I'm not a serial killer though, although I did murder a bowl of cornflakes this morning. Maybe I'll add a little bit of this bluey colour underneath here. Where do I live, Alessandra? Um, sarcastic me. Yes, I do. I treat everybody the same. Um, I I live I live in Banbury, um, but I'm originally from the West Midlands. Near Dudley. Yeah, I know it comes back, do it, Arbab. Comes back ever so easy when you're speaking to me believe it right now I've said that I'm gonna <clears throat> can you see how this is glowing a little bit now and we want that ethereal feel um, to continue um, how long got, what do these classes how, I know they're my classes it's half 12 isn't it is it half 12 we do these till To whenever I get fed up of you or, or when you all tell me you're going to leave. Uh, right, I'm just adding a bit more white. I think I think we're on till half twelve, so that's fine. So there's less water going on here. Um, the light's reflecting. So can you see I'm adding less water. It's not as runny as it was previously. Because I want to just add a little bit of light. Can you see now by adding that light... What's the time where you are, Brian? Do you live by the sea? Or is it all by the sea? I'm 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 fairly ignorant when it comes to Hawaii. I'm I'm quite jealous though in a way. You can do dry brush with gouache, look at that. Bit of texture. I, I made a bet with one of our company reps that um, alkids and gouache were going to come back over the next few years. And to be honest, they, they kind of have. So because it's drier... It gives me that opportunity to do a little bit more dry brush 
and texture. But the exciting bit comes if I want to blend any of it in. I'll just use a wet brush. So this is where it's sort of in between watercolour and acrylic. You've got the best of acrylic and the best of watercolour. I mean, it's why they made it. Um, if you look up Sir Nicholas Hilliard's Seven minutes from the ocean. Oh. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, alkids, I'll tell you what alkids are. Alkids are oil paints that dry within 24 hours. So if you like oils, but you can't stand how long they dry because they can take up to six months, um, then alkids are a good um, medium because you can work very fast. But they are oil paints. So gouache is water-based. Alkids are oil-based. I'm adding a little bit more blue to do a little bit of shadow. Maybe I'll add a little bit of black in there because it feels left out. Um, you can see, actually, by adding that grey, look how dark that is on my tile so I love gouache and I love alkids I did a self portrait during lockdown in alkids um, and it was dry within two days um, but you do still have the smell of oils there are there is now there's jelly a gouache um, that's come out in the last 12 months but basically it's only a jelly until you take the lid off and then once you've taken the lid off a couple of times, you just end up with solid gouache. Um, we we also sell um, gouache pans. So they're solid pans of gouache by Karen Dash. They're really good, actually. Um, if you scroll through the videos section on here, or on my own art page, I think, I did a... Um, a, a screenshot like a time lapse of um of painting a pig standing on a pen of a sty gate or something um and i did that with the the acrylic uh, no sorry with the karen dash gouache so i'm using this gray to just line in a few gills but what's brilliant is if if just saying i don't do it properly and i make a bit of a mess don't matter because I've, I've got the same fear deflection um, with gouache as I have with acrylics. I don't have to worry. But yeah, if you've got any questions about it, just ask the question and I will try my hardest to answer I uh, Kathy you know I my I started in oil paints when I was 14 um, thanks to Uncle Bob Ross with two hairs and some air and a happy tree um, but uh, the, the drying time was really hard we had an arthritic chihuahua um, <laughs> and she used to lean on the paintings because she couldn't I was because I, I had nowhere to put them, so I'd dry them on the side of the on the floor or something, <laughs> and she'd wander along <laughs> and lean up against my landscape. <laughs> so I'd have a chihuahua print on the side of um, on the side, but um, it does take a long time to dry, which can be an issue. I'm just playing with a bit of black and white now. Maybe a little bit of outlining, which I know's naughty, but you know. What are you going to do? Tell the art, please. A little bit dark. So if I've got, like here, look, I've got a really dark line there. I don't want that. 
I can let it dry. Damp brush, blend it in. Because what will happen is it will pick up the colour that's still on there, um, underneath it, and the colour that's on top of it, and you'll get lovely blends. It's just wonderful. Right, we sell them on our um, website, on our online shop. There are uh, the best alkids are Windsor and Newton's Griffid alkid. It's not really naughty. Um, it's just that purists don't like outlines and things, and I, I'm no purist. So it's called Griffin Alkid by Windsor and Newton, and they're in 37 mil tubes. There is no artist or student quality. Um, <clears throat> we can get the full range, but we only keep a few in stock. So you mix them with your normal solvents and linseed oil. Um, but they're dry within 48 hours. So it's A-L-K-Y-D-S, which is a really weird way of working, uh, of spelling it, but it's Alkids, so A-L-K-Y-D-S, and it's called Griffin, Griffin Alkids. Um, Water-based oils are lovely as well, and uh, we've just ordered, because we've sold out, and I didn't realise we'd sold out, there's something that Schminky have created called Medium W. And what that does is it turns normal oils into water soluble oils and um, so if you've got asthma or something and you're struggling with the turpentine and, and all of that kind of stuff then um, you can turn those normal oils into water based oils so we'll be getting some of that in probably early next week <coughs> medium w it comes in a little bottle it's about nine pounds a bottle but well worth it because it, it you just mix a bit of that with your normal um janet yes you can do it in watercolor obviously it wouldn't work necessarily well on gray paper because the colors are too transparent but you could definitely do this in watercolor i probably have done a few classes oh, oh we haven't got enthusiastic paul with us today but um enthusiastic paul one of my students, you can, you can tell why we call him enthusiastic Paul, but um, he, um, his very first class with me was a Sunday morning class many years ago where we did um, fly Garrick toadstools in watercolour. So, yeah, you can. I'll, um, I'll, what I'll try and do, Janet, is adapt it so if if you're in acrylics you can if you're using acrylics instead of gouache you can do this all of what we've done in this order if you're using watercolor you have to do your lights first so that's that's where it gets a little bit tricky and different So I, 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 I like to give you all of these little um, ways of doing different things. So this is, again, one of our free ones. We haven't got another free full lesson this year. Um, I've done it over the summer holidays because um, it's it's a bit easier. Um, but we have got... I, I know I've still got to finish. I'm just, um, I'm just letting paint dry. Um, the next free demo is the 4th of September and I'm using gouache then actually and I'm going to do realistic looking fruit. Um, might be on this coloured paper since I've got a whole pad of it here um, but it might be on the denim or any of the other uh, paint on surfaces and uh, it just gives you a, a, a deeper option doesn't it so you can see um, how things work in a way. So the 4th of September here on Facebook 11 o'clock is realistic fruit and gouache the next one after that 2nd of October and that's how to create frosty grass in watercolor 6th of November autumn leaf in colored pencils I'll be using um, Caran d'Ache luminance for that and then in December creating snowy fir trees in acrylics by then we will already have our January to June workshops and free classes and demonstrations released. So there's, there's just so much for you to see and do here. 
Because don't forget, we, we're one of the few places that carry on all through summer. We only break for two weeks over Christmas. And literally, the only reason we break with our classes over Christmas, um, or a Friday night or Saturday morning, absolutely. <coughs> it was a similar picture to this, um, Rosemary, but not the same, because I've... Um, I researched this one separately and I've added I've I've used Photoshop. So this picture doesn't exist anywhere else other than here. Yes, um masking fluid would work really well for the white spots. Absolutely. If you were doing it in watercolour that is. But with acrylic or gouache, you don't need to worry about any of that. You just splash it on, it's fine. Um Oh, I'll show you if I go a bit darker here with a bit more blue in my green. I want this bit to stand out more. So I'm going to flick into me moss. <laughs> Honestly, if people just join halfway through my classes with, with the ridiculous lingo I use. I don't want it to be a line. So I'm spreading it out a bit. <clears throat> it's really difficult, you see, Diana, because obviously I've been teaching here since we opened um, 11 years ago this October. I'm just adding water to, to spread it out. And um, I've never repeated the same subject in the same class, ever. The same, well, we've done the same techniques or the same type of picture, but I've not used the same reference image. We'll have used, we use the same reference image if I'm doing an acrylic class. Um, and then I'll, uh, a year down the line, I'll do a watercolour class. I'll probably use the same image for that because it's a totally different way. But generally, I've not used the same reference image in 11 years. Because I like the students to feel like they're learning, and if you, you if you're doing the same te the same the, the very same picture over and over again, um, you're more likely to switch off. It's like a, oh, I've done this, done this. Um, so I'm just darkening the background a little to just bring things forward. Can you see how it really helps with the moss and whatever? It's hard to tell how dark things need to be. So uh, yeah, I I try never to repeat it. Occasionally my memory isn't that great because I, I don't keep all of the previous reference images. So uh, occasionally we slip up, but generally um, different reference image for the same class so if you've been coming to a watercolor class every Friday for 11 years oh a Halloween class I could do what could I make more Halloween oh do you know what oh, it's autumn leaf I'm doing isn't it November what day is Halloween on let me quickly have a look at my calendar It's a Sunday. I might just do a free demo on a Sunday for Halloween. I don't know what, but I'll, I'll think about that, Brian. Because I don't have a life. <coughs> Literally, I, I don't. It's not a joke. <laughs> it's true. Um, I, uh, I could do something on that Sunday for Halloween. That would be quite fun. Just using some of the dark in amongst this my my work is my obsession um, I, uh, I I'm just I can't get enough of it Jack Jackie will tell you I'm always sort of oh what about this now should we could do this next why don't we try this I mean my brain just never I, I just love what I do so much um, 
and then I, I forget that I'm supposed to do other things as well as um, like I still see my family I don't I, I visit my family I don't have any kids of my own I would have liked some but maybe maybe it's for the best that I don't because I'm I'm too obsessed with work I would uh, I wouldn't have neglected them but uh, yeah Never mind. I want this to look more mossy than grassy. <coughs> Don't you what Yeah, <laughs> that's when I know Halloween is. <laughs> so I'm using the thin brush on its edge just to give a bit more of a mossy feel. Okay, so we'll start on the top. So I'm going to go with cadmium yellow. I can pull a bit of that out. So you can see the paint that I squeezed out an hour ago nearly has gone a bit stickier and a bit um, stiff. And that's okay. Because we can reconstitute it. So this is cadmium red. No, it's not. I Honestly, I know the difference. I promise. You know, I've, I, I do love what I do. You're right, and I'm glad, I'm glad that you all get enthused from it. Um, but I do have to say, you know that phrase, um, find a job that you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. I have to say that's a load of rubbish because I sometimes, after I've done a day of working, running a shop and teaching three classes, I'm absolutely exhausted. It feels like I've run a marathon rather than just done a job. Um, but I do love it. I'm excited every day. I mean, I got here at about half eight this morning. Started getting ready for the class. This for this class. And um, I've been mixing greens for twenty five years, and I still get excited. Oh, it's sad, isn't it? So can you see the benefits of gouache so far? Who needs a life when you've got art, unless Alessandra? Who needs one? We can paint our own, eh? <laughs> I'm outlining this just so you can see what I do when I I can spread a bit. So if I want it brighter and more opaque, I add more paint, less water. Yes, um, I do have a shop phone number. It is 01295. Obviously, don't ring while I'm teaching this class, because, <laughs> um, but you can ring afterwards. Um, 01295 275 150. 01295 275 one five zero and it's only me or Jackie but there's only me here today if you're ringing today um, or if you're ringing Tuesday to Saturday it could be me or Jackie depending on the time but you can message us absolutely on shop Facebook you can message us we're basically available we're contactable in every which way I'm adding a bit of water to spread the yellow because I don't want it as vibrant in the middle. And I've got to say, it's been absolutely lovely for those of you that don't live locally. Um, those of you that have made the effort to come in and visit over the last six months. It's really lovely to see you, um, especially, I, I was saying to some, if, if your profile pictures of your dog or your holiday or something, I don't know what any of you look like, but then to be honest, you only ever see my hands, most of you, um, the fortunate ones, um, the slightly less fortunate have seen me in person. Um, right, let's blend, uh, can you hear, I'm trying not to scratch too much. 
because I don't want to go through the card, but equally, I need to dissolve the pigment a little bit. Um, but you, hopefully as well, you've seen how durable this paint on card is. Because it's not, um, I know I've used the hairdryer a couple of times, but it's not that cockled. I've done the same method as I use on my watercolour paper. Um, just with my staples to keep it in position. Normally, if I was painting um, at home or here, there is no life without art. Exactly right, Kate. Um, I probably wouldn't staple it down because I know I'm not adding loads of water on it. And it's, how heavy is it? It's... Um, 250 grams so actually that's not too bad it's a decent weight it's almost as heavy as watercolor paper these uh, paint on surfaces um, so I probably have it loose so I could twist it round instead of uh, I'm having to twist around here on my seat um, so I'll let that dry I will blast it with the hairdryer And you'll see that as it dries, the colour gets a little bit more vibrant. So it goes chalky. If I was going to spend a very long time on this, rather than just an hour's um, painting, I would, um, I'd probably put a bit of blue sky and the trees coming through. But I won't have time for that today. But I'll still do it in a wet and wet style. Like I've done this. Um, I haven't got any of my pet portraits that I can show you um, here. I don't think. Oh I can show. If it's not too reflected. So um, this is card. I normally work on mount board. Um, have I got any of that? I've only got an off cut so this is a mottled grey mount board and I use that for some of my pet portraits you'll be most welcome Alessandra so I use that or <clears throat> I use the cradled, wood, cradled wooden panels so that's a chaffing, so that's an original one. Um, but obviously I have to varnish these. And this is an owl that I did. And again, I did it so the water, it was very watery in the background and more opaque for the bird. So this is gouache on wood, this is another wood, but it's heavily varnished. You can use watercolour board, all sorts of things. I've even, I don't know how well this will show because it's under glass because I don't want it. Um, this portrait I did of the Queen is on um, linen canvas because it has a really um, glossy seal to keep the linen through. So I used gouache on that so I could fade it out. But again, it had to be varnished. So that painting of the Queen I did for the Jubilee and her um, 95th birthday this year. Right, let's go with some cadmium red. And I want... Oh, bless you, you can come again. Whereabouts in the in the UK are you, Alessandra? I mean, are you even in the UK? This is this is what I love. You're all from all over the place. I love it. I'm mixing a bit. Cadmium red is an orange-based red, 
Um, Kathy, it's it's a wooden cradled panel, and I think it's birch wood. We sell them, um, lots of different sizes. So the owl was an A3 one. Uh, the little chaffinch was done on a little 15 by 15 centimeter one. Um, all right, so cadmium red is orange based, but I'm going to mix it with a bit of cadmium yellow. You're a London bow, not too, not too far away from Banbury then. You could make it a day out. Right, so I'm going to put this on here in the middle. And I don't know why I'm doing this one first, but humour me. And you can see this is drying because it's on card. Um, the varnish I use is Winder & Newton's all-purpose varnish. Um, I tend to favour a matte. Because uh, sometimes a gloss can... Sometimes a gloss can make it so reflective that you can't see the brush strokes in it, you know. I'm aware that we've got crimson that I haven't used yet, but I will be. Um, we have we we have a lot of people that have been coming in just for the day, just to say hello. Um, students from all over the country have popped in, and it's it is so lovely, and I am so honoured to be able to sit here and chat and show you how to paint and draw. Um, you know, as as a teacher. I'm not a massive fan of gloss um uh Brian um there are times if I want something to be really reflective I will use it but the majority of the time I use matte satin at a push but uh, matte is my favorite varnish um what's that rosemary because you like to work from right to left just so you can share the medium with you. I know do you know what look look at my shirt cuff here it's covered in acrylic paint because of that i should work from right left to right shouldn't i because i'm right-handed i know i know right so clean damp brush blend 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 we'll I'll try and finish for half past. Famous, Jilly, I know. It'll go right to my head. Well, it's funny. Because I'm on TikTok. Um, my, my singy side of me is on TikTok. The shop is on TikTok. But I've, I'm trying to work out what I can do. Um, but my, my, um, alter ego for singing, my crooner, is, um, on TikTok, and a few people on there, um, some asked me if I was one of the guys from Horrible Histories, Simon someone, and I can, I, I can kind of see why they thought that, um, and someone else, and a few others actually asked if I was, um, the the doctor from all the new all creatures great and small, um, it's hilarious. I'm neither, of course. I like a bit of a yellow glow on this. It just makes it feel natural. Um, so many times when people paint fly agaric, they just shove a bit of red on. And treat it like a, a pillar or phone box. But it needs it needs layers. Ah, oh, thanks, Brian. I I I I don't do any of this to be famous. But as a teacher, that's what I was going to say before I distracted myself. As a teacher, which I've spent my whole career doing, the aim is always how can I reach more people? How can I encourage more people to take up art and just enjoy the whole process? Um, so it's been wonderful to uh, to be able to have that opportunity during lockdowns to reach so many more of you um, than I ever dreamed possible. 
I mean, if my mom would have realised that I, I was chatting to a, a chap in Hawaii about art, she'd have been, like, gobsmacked that that was even possible. She wasn't very technical. She did like Twitter, though. She used to stalk all her favourite celebrities on Twitter. Obsessed with Philip Schofield. She used to keep talking about Phil. Oh, Phil said this. And, and I said, who's Phil? She said, Philip Schofield off the telly. I said, just because you follow him on Twitter, you're not mates. But never mind. She used to love it, and that's all that mattered. Right, so I'll let that dry. I'm going to put a bit of crimson on the darker areas as well. That was feedback off me, it wasn't feedback off you, in case any of you panicked. Hearing me once is enough. Right, let's go with a little... I'm going to get the hairdryer on that. I mean, there's about 50 of you watching, thank you so much. So, I'm going to do some slightly darker bits. Ah, There is a bit of a blue tinge, well spotted Diana, and that's because it's slightly glossy and the light from the sky is, is reflecting off it. So I'll probably put a little bit of that on as well. So let me go with some crimson. With a little... Oh, somebody sent me some stars, thank you. Oh, it's on a different screen, so I can't see. Oh, yes. I'm, sh I'm sure. Is gobsmacked just a British thing? Surprised. Um, thank you, Cathy. It's just popped up. Um, thank you, Sylvia. Slow but loving it. I, I am a bit fast. Um, it's because I know what's coming next. But when this demo finishes... You'll be able to watch it back. And I really hope. Sometimes Facebook doesn't let me. Um, doesn't let me download my own videos. But a lot of the time it does. As long as I don't play any music. That's got copyright on it. I'm generally okay. But they change the rules every 30 seconds so it's hard to know what I can or can't do um, let's go a little bit darker here sort of in a midline there now crimson's quite a hungry colour I was um, I'm in a member because I used to work in primary education and I'm in a member I'm a group in a lot of uh, classroom and teachery groups and one of the questions was um, how old was your how old are the children that were in your very first class now I I used to be a, a freelance artist um, in many many schools um, in my youth and those children that I taught Are probably 30 now uh, and I'm not that old myself um, but it made me think they had they probably got they've got kids that no, they will have kids of their own now I know some of them still and when I left primary education those children are in their late 20s now I will try, Diana, to get the um, the light shine tone on there. Can you see how that... It's just really... Oh, I love painting in gouache. And I love fly garrick toadstools. Um, right, if I go with a bit of blue and a little bit of white, this could work. Or not work. 
<laughs> I've got a 50-50 option, haven't I? I, 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 I never thought you weren't. Because I have black country phrases on top, you see, which are even... I'll say things and Jackie will be like, what on earth are you talking about? That makes no sense to me. Because black over Bill's mother's a phrase locally. It's, it, it's actually reached down to Banbury, which is further south. Which just means a Bill is William Shakespeare, because Stratford-upon-Avon's just up the road, you see. It's up here, and from the West Midlands, it's down. So um, when it's a stormy day, you go, oh, it's black over Bill's mother's. I'll go to the foot of our stairs is another one, except in the black country we'll say, um, I'll go to the foot of our stairs or we'll go, what the Brawley Hill? And Brawley Hill is um, a, a town in the West Midlands. <laughs> I don't know why we say what the Brawley Hill. Although I say we, my mother. My mother used to say these phrases and as I've grown up I've realised that she had her own little language <laughs> that only she she was aware of. A little bit of white. It is a faint bit of blue, but it does it does lift it if I blend it slightly. So thanks for pointing that out, Diana. Right, now, I'm hoping I've got enough white, and I'm going to mix it in with... Can you see it's formed a film? But if I kept working on that, it would um, it would shrink in and be lovely. Uh, I want it slightly biscuity, so let's go with the orangey colour that's on here. I don't want it pure white. And I'll do a few. Some are really tiny. And I could use the really tiny brush. Couldn't I? He says, not using... A really tiny brush because he doesn't listen to himself oh, fine. I don't know if I've said but I do love Sly Garrick don't <laughs> and I love gouache we are going to put to some of these a little bit of shading perhaps now these are right on the edge um I don't know what we'd say in the black country we're probably just living in sin because we're very judgmental But yes, I have heard of over the brush, so possibly. Hardly any on this side of this one, if you notice. But a large amount on the top. The smaller ones, uh, the smaller they are, are much uh, more delicate. And there are fewer of these on. But they tend to be more in lines so obviously if we we're going to work I say obviously a lot don't I sorry because um, it's not always obvious um, if we were doing this in watercolour I would probably still have to use um, going to the garden gate oh, that's a Bamberian phrase I'll have, to, I'll have to try and put that into practice now I live down here. Um, 
There we go. Look, we can see if I press the brush in different sizes. If I was doing this in watercolour, I'd probably have to still use gouache to do this, unless I'd um, put masking fluid down. So this isn't really botanical, I want it to be uh, quite nice and fluid. Just the tip of my brush. Yes, do it, do it Brian, do it, because I'd love to know. I'm fascinated by language and, and how phrases and things change or... or I mean, here in, in, in the UK, if you travel eight miles in any direction, you've you've got a totally different language almost in that we've all got our own phrases and accents here that even though we're a relatively small island, um, it, it's, I don't know if it's that the same in Hawaii. Do you have lots of different accents and uh, colloquialisms? I don't want to do too many on there. Um, maybe just a hint lighter there and there. Bit of dry brush. This isn't textured, this card. Oh, you can, Janet. You can use gouache on top of water together. Also, um, I'll add some links in a minute, but also, if you're unsure of gouache, our, our student set of gouache is £7.50 for 10, 12 colours, small tubes. Or, if you've got a lot of watercolours, you can buy just permanent white gouache. Thank you, Trish. Thank you, Cathy. Um, you can buy just permanent white gouache and make coloured gouache from watercolours and white gouache. So that's the only one you need to buy. What I'll do is, before I add any shadow, because I'm aware of the time, um, I'll drop the links. Um, so the pad I'm using is the grey one. in here that you can choose the other ones but as i say there will be a, a couple of weeks wait because um because we're out of stock and we're doing an order next week the gouache set the the student quality gouache set is this one that i'm posting now We've got a few of those in stock. Oh, the northeast. Well, Jackie's from the northeast, Jilly. Um, oh no, there's a hole in me pool. Oh, kind of. Um, I love it. We take the Mickey out of each other's accents. Oh, come on, post. So that's the gouache set, and. This is the artist's or the Windsor and Newton student um, gouache. The, the the good stuff that I'm just sending you a link of that you only really need if you can't afford to buy all of them, just buy the white. It's gorgeous, Diana, isn't it? It really works well. The um, the reason why we've sold out of the, the multicoloured pack, that the multi-pack has got textured white white gray black natural which is sort of like a biscuit color and um denim in it uh the verdigris isn't quite isn't in those sets because it hadn't come out at that time right if i go with some black and white 
I'm just going to do a thin line. I think I need it slightly darker and maybe with a little bit of blue in there and a touch of red. Nice. Purpley grey. Beautiful. Um, and I'm just going to go underneath some of these larger, lumpier ones. Because they're raised, they're, they're like little flicks of royal icing. I tend to bring food into most things because I like icing. I like food, but I like icing. I've got such a sweet tip. That's why I've got so many fillings, you know. But that should start making it look even more 3D. And I should start to get a lot of wows from you. <laughs> In the comments. You'd like four W's after the first wow. Well, it's just turned half past twelve, but I did start late and I had to abandon you for 15 minutes, didn't I? So I'm not going to, I like to, although it's a free lesson, and thank you for those that have sended stars, sended, sent stars, and thank you for those that have uh, sent uh, PayPal um, donations. I do appreciate it. Obviously, it is free, but we appreciate the support where possible and we know it's not possible for everybody especially at this moment in time with everything going on so just enjoy the demos right I'm going to do some slightly lighter grass that's for the posh people uh, a bit more yellow and a bit of blue tiny bit of white I think make it slightly more opaque well, it's moss not grass isn't it but I'll very dilute I'm doing a bit of a wiggle well I'm not the brush the brush is doing a wiggle I'm not wiggling well thank you look at those wows thanks ever so much everyone um yeah do but like I say Sue you've got watercolors haven't you I'm sure you have. Probably sold them, you. Yeah. So you could just buy the six pound permanent white, which will come in handy for your gouache um, over your watercolours for highlights, but it will also mean that you can mix them with your watercolours. Kind of doing myself out of a sale of sending you, selling you a really good set of watercolours, of gouache. But I'd rather you build up slowly and enjoy the process than perhaps spend too much and then never use them again. Because what I don't want is people buying art supplies that stay in a cupboard for the rest of their life. Um, thank you, Mandy. I've nearly finished anyway. But thank you for your company. And this will be available to view um, as soon as I finish the live stream. But thank you very much for your company. It's lovely to have you with me. Jan, I've got no, I haven't got enough room here to wiggle. Otherwise, I would. I enjoy a bit of wiggling. I used to do salsa dancing many years ago. Well, I I used to go to beginner salsa because I was better then. I I, I should have up, I, I should have uh, moved up to the intermediate level, but I like to stay in the beginners because I look better than everybody else. And the ladies used to fight over dancing with me because I I knew what I was doing. I just did it for the attention. Unlike me, I know. But I was free and single, you see, back then. So it was sort of... Sway me ips for anybody in the class. How's that? I think that looks all right, doesn't it? I could go a little bit darker in places, and I might do that. Um, I might fiddle with this, but I'm really pleased with the, the time that we've worked with this. I'm, I hope, I really hope that you can see just how versatile gouache is, and the fact that even when it's dry, I can re-wet it. Um, when it's 
I'll maybe make a bit more purple for shadow. Um, we can make it opaque, we can make it transparent. There's such a lot we can do. So maybe, maybe water, use it in conjunction with your water. And I, and I, again, Janet, I am sorry. You asked a question and I went off on a tangent. Um, yeah, if you've got an area of watercolour that maybe wasn't as bright as you intended it to be, you could use... Um, oh, everybody's lovely. There, I've, I'm so lucky to have... I've interrupted myself again. I'm so lucky to have just amazing group of students. I really am. Um, it's a shame none of them are here today. <laughs> joke, joke. Um, but, you know, I'm so lucky. I am... I really am. Everybody is so lovely. Um, but yeah, if you've got an area, I'll, I will get this sentence out, Janet. If you've got an area that you wanted to brighten, so let's say you'd done trees and they were too sludgy and dark, you could use yellow gouache over the top of them to make them a bit brighter. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Or, I mean, you can use pastels as well, but if you've got gouache, it works well. Or you can use white gouache with your colour and then um, go over the top. Because don't forget, white gouache goes opaque. Thank you. Good. I'm glad, Jean. Um... Oh, I'll see if I can find the link, um, Kathy. And um, if you if you send a message to us in the shop, on the shop's Facebook page, send me a message, and I can put the link on that way because I can't really do it on um, on here because my keyboard's all the way over there. Um, so yeah, send me a message on the shop page, and uh, I'll send you the link to the wooden panels. Um, because they may they might be showing up as out of stock on there if I haven't up um, if I haven't tweaked the the website enough um, the online shop. So I'm going to call that a day. The painting's over. Time to call it a day. So thank you so very much for your company. I've I've loved every minute of today. And apologies for having to nip out for ten minutes to go and serve. Um, take care. Stay safe. Have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget the next demo is in September the 4th. The 4th? I can't remember. Next free one. 4th of September. And that's gouache and it's fruit. So if you wanted to do a bit more, you could um, get some white gouache or a set of gouache and, um, and see. I'll take a photograph of this and post it in the demo. I'll do a bit of work on it this afternoon if I'm quiet and then um, finish it off so you can see the difference. But thank you so much. Um, I do love every minute I spend with you. So thank you so much for your company. And uh, take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.